What's going on everybody? It's your man Overtime out here in the bow shop. Um, today we're doing a little project here. We got a, we're setting the bow shop up now that hunting season is over with, getting stuff done, bow builds, bow setups and whatnot. One thing with bow setups and bow builds is paper tuning. So we built the paper tuning place back in New Jersey. Paper tuning spot in the basement back in New Jersey using PVC pipe. I want to do the same thing here, but what we did, we're going to do a little different. Instead of having a stand like I got in, the, in New Jersey coming from the ground up, I can take it down and move it around. We're going to build something here. I had a ceiling where I can drop it down, fold it up, have it latched up there when I don't want to use it. It's time to use it, unhook it, let it fall down, get my shots, set the target up over in the corner. When I'm done, flip it back up. And just keep going back and forth so we can go ahead and get into that with that being said also guys remember we're doing the 5,000 subscriber giveaway we're almost there we're getting closer and closer and closer and we are almost there um by the time this airs it might be done already but it might not be so if not make sure you guys are subscribing to that don't think it's much now so you know got a lot of episodes coming um neighbor corbin young man He's been filming and taking pictures. He's going to be helping me out get some stuff done. So we got some product reviews, unboxing. My wrestling season just ended. I'm a college wrestling coach now also. It ended uh, over the weekend actually. So yesterday we got back in town. Today's Monday. So I'm going to have more time to do more episodes and get things out there for you. So hopefully we can get them dropping once a week now instead. And yeah, other than that, guys, we just thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for being um, consistent subscribers and followers and supporters we appreciate all the love and everything we've been getting with that being said uh that's enough time jaw jacking let's go ahead and get this episode Everything for this project you can get at your local Lowe's, Home Depot, Menards, maybe, maybe even Tractor Supply. But first you're going to need six pieces of 24 inch PVC pipe, half inch thick. You're going to need four 90 degree angles, that's 70 cent. You need two T connectors, PVC half inch, that's 78 cents. The PVC pipe, $3.08 cents. Then you're going to need an 18 inch roll paper, roll of brown paper, and get it in the paint department. 180 feet, that's going to be $5.48. You add that all up, that's $28.32. Now, everything else is going to be pretty simple. You assemble them, you drill some holes in your raptors. My raptors are 23 inches, so make sure you got enough there. And assemble it, and you got your paper tuning station. All right, guys, there we have it. I have my paper tuning station that I visualize and uh, we got it done just the way I wanted it. Right here in Indiana, so. Oh. Now, what I, I can't put the lock type, the purple PVC stuff up in here. If I do that, then I can't, it won't spin. So I need that, that's gonna be a big part of it. All I did is I got uh, one, two, three, four, five pieces of half inch, two foot pieces of PVC pipe from Lowe's, four elbows, 90 degree elbows, and two T's. And uh, yeah, it's pretty simple. As you guys see, we did it in time lapse. But, so we got the bar going through here. We drill two holes here in the Raptors. Not gonna affect anything here, cause nothing up there for storage. But we go down, then we got this here. So this is 24 inches wide, so I can shoot it from over there, either standing or sitting or somebody else that they're here. Um, I have about seven foot, seven to eight foot from here to the corner and another eight to nine, maybe even, yeah, about eight to 10 to that corner. But that's plenty of room you need to paper tune. But what this will do is I'll have this lifted up here. I'll put like a little, uh, uh, what's those, bungee cord across from here. Just to keep it held up, I'm not using. When I want to use it, go ahead and drop it down. 
boom, lower it right here in the way I want it. Now I have a target over here in the corner. It's coming down straight. Rotate into that corner. Having it square. Bag up over here. Here's my chair right here. Boom, draw back. I got more than arrow, two arrows links from me to the paper, which will give it plenty of time to straighten out when we get there. Or I want to get more dynamic right outside, inside six feet. Somebody's coming six feet from the tip of the bow to the paper, coming out the bow to see what kind of wobble up and down it has coming out of the <clears throat> out of the rest. Plenty of room for it to hit the target behind it. Um, one thing I gotta do now, I'm not gonna use one of my Ryan Hart targets I got in the yard. I like the way I have my yard range set up at the 20, 20, 40, 60, and I can put a deer out to 80 or 100, whatever. That'll help me for total archer challenges. But what I'm gonna do is go to a Cabela's. Cabela's is like 30 minutes from me. It's Cabela's or Walmart, whichever one is the cheapest. And get a nice bag target. And have a rope coming from the ceiling straight down and have that target hanging. It's gonna be a big block target, one of them wide square targets, so it's gonna be about two feet wide, two feet high. So it covers the exact diameter, so whoever hit shoot through here, whether they shooting high or low, it's gonna line up and hit that target. All right, guys. But, oh, here we go, we got eight inches, 18 inch paper. I'm gonna go up, I have clips that's gonna go over this. I'm gonna pick up and have it just clip right to the paper from this. And then when we're done paper tuning, twist the back. Right up either way. Put my little rope across it, and we're good. All right, guys, there you have it. Paper tuning station right here in my bow shop, right out behind the house. Pretty simple, easy. Right where I need it to be. Um, I'm excited. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'm finishing my bow setup now. And uh, when we get that done, we do the next episode here. Shooting through the paper, into the target, making sure we're getting bullet holes when we go. Alright guys, with that being said, we're going to sign out as always, but before we do that, don't forget, make sure you guys are hitting that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, show some love to the page, head over to Instagram, follow that, or show some love to the channel, head over to Instagram and show some love to the page at Outdoors with Overtime, and also head over to the personal page at Corey A underscore MMA, so you guys can stay tuned for any fight news we got coming up, any giveaways we're doing in the fight channel, and also in the outdoor industry. Alright guys, with that being said, now we're going to sign as always with love, peace, Afro-Grease, peace. That's going to be it for this episode.